Hello and welcome to this video tutorial on breadboards. In this tutorial, we are going to talk about the breadboard connections and how to use them to connect chips and make circuits. And this breadboard has two types of common connections. They are called as vertical common connections and they are and horizontal common connections. And this is a solderless breadboard. We don't have to solder any of the components to make a circuit. And as you can see, there is a red, red color line that goes horizontally and a blue color line that goes horizontally as well. This positive and negative represents a positive VDD and a ground. So we usually use these common connections to connect a positive VDD and ground. So all the points in this line are interconnected. We can explain this better by using this schematic of the breadboard. As you can see, a positive and a negative here. And all the points in this line are interconnected and they are usually connected to positive VDD all along this line. And then the second row, it represents the ground connection. All of them are interconnected. So in this breadboard, we have three such lines, three such set of lines, positive, negative, positive, negative, and positive, negative. And all these red lines are interconnected and all these blue lines are interconnected. And also, there is no interconnection between this positive VDD and this and this. They're all independent. Similarly, the negative sign represents the ground. They all are independent. So the points with plus and minus all are horizontal common connections. As you can see from this schematic, we have a positive and negative here, a positive and a negative here, and a positive and a negative here. So we use this region of the breadboard to connect the power source to our circuits. And all these vertical lines are common connections. And there is no connection between this and this. So we use vertical common connections to connect chips. As you can see from A, B, C, D, E, this forms a vertical common connection. So all the points here from A to E are interconnected. And there is a separator here. And then from F to J are interconnected. And there is no connection between E and F. And this holds true for all the vertical common connections. Usually, we want to connect our chip here. We always connect our, our chip between two vertical common connections. Just keep the chip, press it firmly, and it just goes inside. And we always use a red color wire to connect it to a positive VDD. And as you can see on the top of the chip, there is a half circle. The pin right next to it is where you want to connect your power source. This represents the VDD. So I connect a red color wire from there to one of the common connections that's denoted as plus. And here I'm using an yellow wire to connect it to ground. Usually the half semicircle here, that's right left to it. The last pin is we, where we connect ground to. 
and I connect this to one of these blue lines because the blue line represents ground. So now the first pin is connected to plus. If you look at the pin diagram of a digital chip, usually this pin is VDD and this pin is ground. So I recommend before giving connections, make sure you look at the pin diagram of a chip. For, for some chips, it might be different. For this chip, this pin number, this pin is plus VDD and, and this is ground. And this is how we connect a chip and we make connections from here to the positive power source and this is connected to ground. Thanks for watching.